Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. This is going to be a video all about the um, decks that I am going to be working with for the fall season. <clears throat> I already pulled them all out. I'm really excited to be working. Oh, I have like all these feathers flying around me now because I brought out my old journal. <laughs> Anyways, um, they're not orbs and they're not spirit. If you see like these things flying around, it's, it's literally like feathers. Um, so I brought out all of my decks that I'm going to be working with um, for the fall season. <clears throat> I'm really excited because summer is my most hateful. I hate it. <laughs> I dislike, I highly strongly dislike summer. Um, so, but what, what comes right after summer is fall, which is my favorite time of the year. Um, and then we go into winter, which is a double favorite. So I had to pull out my decks early because it just gives me that feel of like fall is around the corner, even though in Southern California, um, we really don't get much of a fall. It's it, you get the feel of it, but you, the weather really doesn't change. Um, until maybe December, it starts to get cool. So unfortunately, the fall weather isn't nice and cold with coffee and falling leaves in Southern California, maybe, uh, you know, towards the end, the tail end of it, but that's okay. We gotta do what we gotta do. So <clears throat> the decks that I'm gonna be working with this fall um, are, and I'm not gonna go and show you all the cards because this, that will be a long video. Maybe for a couple decks I will, um, like this one. This is called the Victoria Francis Oracle Cards. I bought this deck. Let me put this bag over here. Um, I bought this deck last couple months ago. Maybe it was earlier this year. And I actually did something really cool with them. So this is the backs. They're like a gothic like a gothic look um and the cards themselves are oracle but they don't have any words or phrases on them so I wrote my own so that's a little bit of a deck mod there for you to see sorry for all the glare but right here on the side I wrote down a couple keywords from their guidebook because the guidebook comes with it um but a couple keywords for each card to give the idea of like what the card means so I did that in like a silver Sharpie and I think that it looks super cute. It really helps, it helps me understand, aside from just looking at the image, understand some keywords. So it just pops into my head real fast and then it makes for a faster reading. So that's a little deck mod for you guys. If you have this deck, um, you could totally put keywords on the borders. <coughs> But the artwork is beautiful it's very dark and kind of has like a melancholy feel to it but I love it <coughs> excuse me sorry guys I think I'm I ha I've been having like itchy throat and we're having a lot of fires going on here in Southern California so the air is awful <laughs> so I think that that's probably what's causing that irritation. So this is the Victoria Francis Oracle. This one popped up on my Instagram the other day. <clears throat> the Gothic Tarot by Joseph Vargo. The Gothic Tarot is one of my favorites to work with. I've had this deck for years. <clears throat> and a lot of the color schemes in this deck are blues, blacks, with splashes of red or green. Um, and it's, it's like, there's a lot of nudity, but it's basically the epitome of vampires. So it's a vampire deck, um, and it's super spooky. It doesn't follow, well, some cards do, but not all of them. So I say it doesn't, um, it doesn't follow the Rider Waite imagery. Um, it's its own thing, um, but totally, a, a, it's a really cool deck and the, the backs, Look like this. Isn't that cool? So, and it's also fairly larger than a standard tarot deck. So kind of if you have small hands like I do, um, it's a little hard to shuffle, but the cards are so thin that it shuffles super easily. So if you're not picky about the card stock, I think you would love this deck. 
especially if you're into like vampires or <clears throat> you know Halloweeny stuff that's a really good deck and it's still available on Amazon for like 15 bucks this is the vampire tarot this one I don't work with so much um, but I always pull it out every year because um, you know I just I, I don't know there's just because it doesn't get love ever any other time I really like the card backs of this deck I think that was like one of the one things that sold me about it <clears throat> it's like red and black I actually um, colored the sides with a red it was like a red stamp stamp pad that I had so it has like that reddish feel which makes it look really cool um artwork I'm not too much of a fan of not my favorite but I have read with it it has a like a like it's like a cartoony has a cartoony feel and I'm usually not a fan of the cartoon decks but they're cute so if you're into vampires <clears throat> you like the cartoon feel it's kind of like a like it looks like it would be a graphic novel um then you'll like this deck so that is the vampire tarot um, by natalie hertz <clears throat> okay so here's a i take a lot of my decks out of their the boxes and stuff by the way so <laughs> a lot of these don't have their boxes this one i can already tell what it is based on the size this is the halloween tarot so that look at this cute deck bag though can we just please say how cute this deck bag is <laughs> um the halloween tarot so this is the backs of the cards and everyone's seen the halloween tarot if you don't own this deck and you love halloween i strongly urge you to purchase a copy because it is so cute and the guidebook um is amazing the guidebook gives really good insight but I've worked with this deck for a couple years already, and so I think I put the guidebook away with the box. I don't even use it anymore. The cards are <coughs> really intuitive. So totally recommend the Halloween Tarot if you don't own it. I recommend all of these decks, to be honest with you. <laughs> Let's see, what else am I just going to pull out? This one, this one I pulled out because this was actually a deck that I have a, um, a client who is very particular about the cards that I read with. So there was only like two or three cards in my, in my collection at the time because I didn't own a lot of darker themed decks. So this client was like, this client is, is just an eccentric and they only wanted me to read with certain cards certain decks and they ended up creating their own deck um, for me to read with so <laughs> there's always one of those right so this is a deck that they created and they're all into like anime and this is creepy as hell um, so they made an anime these are like just images I guess that they found online and they have like keywords here <clears throat> but they're very particular and you know I'm down for anything so <laughs> as long as it abides by my ethics I will do it so they created this deck they printed it out and they sent me the copy and they asked me whenever they get a reading from me to just read with this deck so that's what I do <laughs> and I pull it out because <clears throat> it has a very spooky feel to it some of these cards are really creepy um, so I, I don't use this deck for anyone else, um, just for this client, but I thought I would share it because I, I thought that was so crazy, like, that they did that. So <laughs> if you ever create your own deck and you want your reader to read it only for you, <coughs> by all means, do it. Okay, this is the Flowers from the Dead Oracle. This one I bought, I, I know I said I wasn't gonna show you guys the cards, but I'm only gonna pull out a couple. Look at the backs, they're just plain black. And then the cards themselves have the skeleton of the animal, the name of the animal, and then a keyword, or a couple keywords. <clears throat> Super 
easy to read with, very intuitive. But it's also like, has that fall vibe to it. So it's one of my faves. I picked this one up last year. So I don't think I had it in time for my spooky readings last year. So it's gonna be cool to read with that one this year. Let's see. This one is, I think this is the Halloween tarot. Yes, the Halloween tarot. And look at how cute my little pin has like a little, a little witch on it. Okay, <clears throat> the backs. This one is, um, you could still find it on Amazon for cheap. So it's just a fun deck. It is a Halloween tarot. It follows the Rider Waite. So it's super easy to read with. The cards are so cute. I highly recommend this one. This is a favorite. I use this one so much this season. So that's the Halloween tarot. <clears throat> it's cartoony, but it's a cute cartoony. I don't know. <coughs> this is, um, oh, this is the zombie tarot. Look at how cute this little Frankenstein bag. Um, the zombie tarot. Their backs are cute. It's like a, a zombie fortune teller. And it's all zombies. So if you like zombies and you're into that stuff, this is a cool one. <clears throat> really fun. Some of the pictures can be a little disturbing. So if it may not be for everybody, but if you're into it, you're into it. <coughs> I think it's so cute though. I love zombies. I'm into horror. I love horror stuff. When I start talking a lot, my throat gets really itchy. Okay. Ooh, this one. Actually, I'm going to hold this off. Madame and Dora's fortune cards. These, I think <clears throat> you could still find them online. I don't know if their prices are going up on these, but... <clears throat> look, look, this is the backs. Very fancy. And it's just like an, Im an image, the keyword, a couple sentences. Really easy. <coughs> this one's like, it's not super Halloween-y, but the vibe of it just makes me feel fall. And I just think that it's the best time of year to read it for. I don't know. So I don't know. You guys will know, like, <clears throat> some decks will just feel like they're meant to um, be read only certain times of the year. That's one of them. This one, the Mystic Museum, and it has a little palmistry hand on it. <clears throat> that was like a little museum that my husband and I went to and they had like all these like crazy oddity stuff in it. That's that's another one I'm gonna hold off on. Actually, I'll just show it now. Okay, so <clears throat> this is one of my prize decks. This is um, the Bohemian Gothic Tarot, the second edition. It came with this bag, okay. I really wanted this version of the deck because of the backs. So they have the bones. The cards are beautiful. Gorgeous cards. <clears throat> Has a gothic vibe. It looks like you're, like every scene is taking place at dusk or at, in the middle of the night. You have vampires. You have werewolves, skeletons, monsters. <clears throat> you have all these different creatures. Creatures of the Night in this deck. And it is just so spooky. Um, but I also have the third edition version. So this is the second edition. The third edition um, has card backs that look like this. Very pretty pattern. 
<clears throat> but I, I actually prefer the bones. I think that one looks better. The third edition I ruined though. So I thought it would be cool to black out the sides, right? But <clears throat> I was still learning how to do it. Let's see if any of these cards have it, yeah. I was still learning how to do it and I messed up and I bled ink onto a good portion of the cards. So <clears throat> a good portion of the cards has this like blotchy black ink at the top. I was so upset. I was so mad at myself because I wasn't taking care of it. And Baba Studios decks are not cheap. You know that. So I was upset. But I also had such a strong reaction to this deck when I first opened it. This was the first version that I ever owned of the Bohemian Gothic Tarot. <clears throat> so when I opened it, I remember I started crying because the cards were speaking to me so deeply. And so because I fucked them up, I figured, you know what, I'm just going to keep them. <clears throat> it's my own mess mistake, but this is my deck. So I keep this version even though I messed it up. Um, but I... Ah, I was so mad at myself. I have contemplated buying a brand new copy of the third edition because I like the cardstock. It's easy to shuffle, <clears throat> but one that's not messed up, but I haven't done it. I'm just like, you know what? I'm lucky enough to even have one of them. So I just let it be. But then when I found the second edition on eBay and it was for a deal because the <clears throat> it came with the box, it came with the bag. And I was just like, I'm just gonna buy it. So I spent a little bit over $100 for it, but it was worth it. And this is like my favorite. <laughs> so I don't take this out much. Um, I'm very careful with it. If I do read for clients, it's usually this deck because this is the version that I messed up. <clears throat> so yeah. Okay, this one is the Demon Tarot. And my guidebook is actually in a box in storage somewhere. So you actually kind of need the guidebook when you're reading with this deck. So I haven't really used it. I probably won't use it much this fall because <clears throat> I'm not going to go digging through a bunch of boxes just for a guidebook. So unfortunately, this one may not make its appearance. But I do own it because I love the different demons that are in this deck. And it's kind of cool to see like what their meanings are and stuff. <clears throat> and as you guys know, I did a video like a couple a couple videos down from this one um, about like the deck that had negative energy. That was this version, but this is actually a brand new copy that I bought versus the one that was used that I don't have. <laughs> so that's the deck if you guys were curious. Uh, what else? <clears throat> so this, look at how cute. It's a little pumpkin. This one is the tarot of vampires look at the card backs thorns and roses this is such a romantic spooky deck i love vampires as you guys could tell i have so many vampire decks these cards photograph beautifully i'm always getting compliments excuse me when i um take pictures of the cards for like um, Instagram photos and stuff. They photograph beautifully. So that's always a plus, but it's so spooky and it's just so crazy. Like it is spooky when you're looking at the cards, their faces and stuff. Look at this one, the 10 of grails. <clears throat> She's in so much pleasure. <laughs> so if you love vampires if you're looking for like a romantic -y vampire deck with like true spookiness to it i highly recommend the tarot of vampires this one's really cool <clears throat> it also comes with a really good um compendium book like a a guidebook that's on the side not just the little white book it's like a nice chunky book so that's always a plus <coughs> this is the wisdom of the house of night i love this deck um it's after the um the pc cast series house of night i think it's like a, a whole um series i never 
read all of it. I think I only read like the first and second books. It's too juvenile for me though. These are the card backs. These cards were actually originally square. I circled, I circled, I rounded off the edges. So that's why they look like that. But these cards aren't necessarily only for um, <clears throat> spooky times or Halloween or fall. I just tend to, to use it during that time, but I have been known to pull this deck out for other occasions. So it's a really, it's one of my favorite or, Oracle decks, to be honest with you. The guidebook is amazing. The messages that come through, it's very intuitive. So um, it's definitely an Oracle deck that I recommend. This is the Wisdom of the House of Night. And lastly, oh, we have two, two left. <clears throat> oh, this one's not really like, I use this deck all year round, but this is the Arcana of Astrology. So you have the backs, and then it's just the planets or the suns or the phases. Really simple, but I like the way they look. They're just so simple. I don't know. So I pulled that one. It's not here because I was using it earlier, but um, the the constellation one, the compendium of constellations, that's another one that I like to use in fall. And also um, the same creator made, um, what is it called? Uh, the Oracle of Oddities. That's the one with the skeletons and the flowers. You guys will have seen that one all over the place on my channel. Um, that's another one I like to use, but I was using that one too the other day, so I don't have it here. <clears throat> and last but not least, this is the Ghost Tarot. Not a lot of people know about this deck. I don't really, I don't see it shown that often. Here are the, the backs. It follows Rider Waite for the most part, but it's ghosts. And the cool part is, is they all glow. Like they have like a glow to them. <clears throat> like ghosts would. You can see the ghost people right there. They may not always follow right away. I, I lie. <laughs> Some of them don't. But isn't that cool? Like you can see the ghost. So that's a fun one to work with too. <clears throat> I don't use it too often. Look at this one. You have like a ghost ship. I don't use it too often, um, but it's fun to pull out because people, they're like, oh, that's really cool, like when they see it. <coughs> it's one of those decks though, it looks better in person than it does on the computer because um, of the, like the ghosts, they're hard to see on the computer. So in person, it looks way better. But anyways, that is my spooky fall dark theme decks. Um, that I wanted to share with you guys that those are the ones that are going to be making an appearance this um, fall and probably winter season so Yeah, I'm excited to be working with them and you will see more of them as the months go and um, my Halloween theme readings will start in my shop September 1st, so make sure you check that out. Those are always fun to do and Yeah Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye loves.